All right, let's get into this coaching game. I'm going to be coaching uh, Lime, no, no, Disgruntled here, Disgruntled, and uh, we're going to be playing a Huns War here against Lying Relic. These are both about 1600 level players. Uh, I think Lying Relic's actually playing at a, uh, maybe a 1700 level at least. So we're going to have our work cut out for us, for us this game. So what kind of uh, rushes do you know? None really. Okay, that's a good start. I mean, I see people go to knights quite quickly. I see people use cavalry archers on Huns. Those are castle aged ones though. Oh boy. So I'm going to teach you a Drush into Archers this game. Does that sound cool? Yes, that's good. Right. Let's send one of our... We need six on sheep, so send one of your villagers over to wood. Your next... Uh, you want four villagers on your lumber camp? Let's build a better lumber camp. That one's kind of bad. There you go. Four villagers on wood. Alright. We'll probably be more efficient to scout like this. Instead of going down the middle of the map. So what we're going to do this game, we're going to build three militia out of a barracks early, try to do some damage with that, and then make two archery ranges and go into archers. Okay. And this is a build you can do with every archer civilization, and you can do this with every cavalry civilization as long as you have a good gold. Your next villager goes to boar. You don't have loom, so be very careful. Your neck, yeah, there you go, berries. Uh, you just missed the sheep. Let's go collect our sheep that we missed. <laughs> we missed it again. <laughs> and you can lure this boar in now with the next villager coming out of the town center. Keep your town center going. Oh, this one's gonna be close. Oh, this might be tight without loom. Mm hmm. He's not gonna make it. Oh, no! <laughs> Lure it with the berries, villager. Oh no, oh no! <laughs> get there, get there! Keep your town center building. Christmas miracle. The next villager can build a barracks. Keep your town center running. <laughs> what is 
this guy doing? Yeah, okay, that's good. <laughs> Keep your sound sounder going. Uh, you're about five villagers behind now. Oh dear. Yeah, you have to make sure your town center is always working. You can build two militia. Send one villager to take ten gold. And you can start seeding a few farms. You also have two spaces left on your berries. And let's collect the rest of these sheep. Don't worry about being efficient. Go scout his base. And cancel one of your villagers, build one more militia. Click up when you have 500 food. Alright, not too bad. All right. Send your militia up, uh, send your militia out and click up to the next age. With the villagers under your town center, you can take a you can take one of these straggler trees and build a second a lumber camp. Move your scout around to make sure your militia are going to go to a good place. You can build a second lumber camp. On the left side here? Sure, wherever. And you can take a you can build a mining camp with those three straggler villagers. Oh, uh, that's what might have fun in TC. Yeah. Um where where send your militia, let's do some damage. Make sure they're on stand ground ground stance. Done. Sorry, what was that before you... Stand ground stance. Yeah, got that. Is he taking deer? Let's build two archery ranges. Doesn't have enough gold for men at arms. Send the next few villagers to gold. Now would be a good time for men at arms if he had some gold. So he's all palisaded up here. Where's his gold? Move your militia to where you think his gold is. We can start making skirmishers. One of your ranges is idle. Man, you're on the ball. That wasn't idle for all that long. <laughs> Keep adding villagers to gold until you have seven. Let's make men at arms. Let's do something fun. Let's make men at arms. No, no, not militia. Let's just make the men at arms upgrade. Shadow 
Don't run into the TC. Send your skirmishes out. You have more army than him. Let's go attack his gold. Keep making skirmishers, Keep and you can add archers. Let's do archers and skirmishers. Make sure you have your eco upgrades as well. And you can start adding in farms too. I guarantee you, if you prevent him from taking gold this game, you will win. That's a guarantee and a half right there. Yeah. Are you watching his gold? <laughs> no, I'm not, but we're about to be. Oh, your skirmish has found something. Men at arms, they're, uh, they're pretty hungry for some kills here. Alright, you have enough on gold. Seven is the magic number to make archers out of two ranges. So keep making archers. Every villager that comes out of your town center will now make a farm. And you can afford a blacksmith now. Start to seed up some farms. Somebody's building that stable. Fletching's a good upgrade. <laughs> and with your idols, let's seed some farms. Yeah, this watchtower is not going to do him any good here. Do you think that watchtower protects his gold? Let's seed some farms with your berries, villagers. Do you notice the, the walls on top, next to the stable? One sec. Do you notice this, the walls next to the stable? Yeah, I see that. Why do you think he walled it? Because he's probably got villages in behind there. Yeah, I think we could kill them. Keep building archers, no more skirmishers. Skirmishers not going to be very good against scouts. Just only archers. Make sure your man-at-arms is doing work. So he's a man at work, so to speak? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So if we had a few more archers, um, we would have won this fight a lot easier. Let's get away from that tower. And let's try to, let's try to keep his gold. Let's build two more archery ranges. Shall I make them a bit forward? No, 
Just uh, build a wall with the, your existing two archery ranges. And let's click up to the next stage. Tower incoming. You can use stand ground stance here. Towers can't fire at their base. You can put your units at the base of this tower. Click up to the next age. Let's make archers out of four archery ranges. You can build a second mining camp on your gold. Two of your ranges are idle. Shall we add some pikemen? Do you think we need it? Do you think he's up to the next stage? No, we're going to beat him by a fair bit to the next stage. He's just going to mount a whole lot of scouts, I expect. Do you think that uh, crossbows with Bacanero will be good against scouts? Yes. Yeah, I do too. That's a rhetorical question. <laughs> well, maybe. What resource do you think you're going to be lacking pretty soon? Gold. Gold, yeah. Maybe send some of your wood villagers to gold. Now, once we hit the next stage, we're going to do crossbow, bodkin arrow. We're going to target his gold, target his wood lines, and we're not going to make any more crossbow. We're going to go into cavalry archers. <laughs> yeah, he is looking very good this game, yeah. He kind of got dominated by Lying Relic the last game, but this game he's looking great. This is the first time he's done a Drush. Uh, okay, you want a crossbow. Bodkin. Uh, bow saw, the mining upgrade. And should I look to use these archers offensively now, or wait till the crossbow comes up? You already have crossbow, essentially. Go do your damage. Wherever you think you could do damage. You're being attacked. <laughs> you need to save your villagers. <laughs> you need some army in that area. You can also uh, you can build a town center, maybe on your wood. You don't need that much army. <laughs> go go do your damage. Go do your damage. Maybe bring just a few back. <laughs> Move your archers, man. There you go. Good. Oh, big damage. Okay, let's try to make up make up for it by doing damage with our crossbow. You got to make sure you you're using army at both points. And get your economy back working. Uh, Lying Relic is still not up to the next stage. Watch your army. Get your economy working again. You're going to have to choose which one you prefer there, uh, I'm afraid, <laughs> nobody.
You have to get your economy working. Let's delete this town center also. Watch your archers. Okay, we need a lot of gold right now. <laughs> Let's get our economy working. Maybe town center on the gold? No bloodlines on these scouts. <laughs> Keep your archers in his base moving. Take half your army in your base and send it forward. And keep both town centers working. So when did you want these cavalry archers? <laughs> as soon as you can afford it. I think wood and food is going to be your uh, biggest problem now. Ah, he got a surprise there. This battle is 1600 ELO. I think lying the relic is is uh, 1700 ELO on HD. Yes, this round. Where is this guy's here. economy? <laughs> Uh, I'll give you a hint, it's not doing so well. Geez, you're not wrong about the pressure. I feel like I'm playing terrible here, but he's struggling instead of me. That's because you're also attacking at the same time. Look at your resources. I just did. I was five seconds ahead. Would you believe it? <laughs> what re what what unit costs wood and gold? An ar an archer costs wood and gold. Well, cavalry archers cost wood and gold. Keep your archers moving. Do you feel like you've got mind control at the moment? <laughs> I wish. Keep your 10 centers working too. Right. So we're going to place archers at every spot we think his villagers can be. And you have these cavalry archers. Cavalry archers are, are the same thing as archers, but they're more mo mobile. So you can place them in and out of places and just, uh, you know, really wreak havoc. Hit and run. Keep your archers moving. <laughs> I think Lying Relic is dead enough right now. I don't think uh, we need to finish this off with a Mangano, but we could. Yeah. Oh, look at these guys. Yeah, jackpot. They're trying to run though, they got nowhere to run. Chase them down with the cavalry archers. Oh, that's a nice wall. With that massive archers, you can get through a palisade wall in uh, seconds. Yeah, Lying Relic should know it's GG at this point. How many? He's got to be at like 20 pop? 17 pop. Oh, 
Who do you think's winning this game? Oh, I don't want to call it early, but I think he's in trouble. What do you think his population is? His scores are remarkably high. I would think his pub would be around like 40, maybe? <laughs> uh, nope. He has a lot of military buildings, and I cannot see any villages. I wonder what he's building. Oh, a castle? How can he afford that? Why don't you go stop it? I'll give you one more guess at his population. <laughs> I reckon he's in the twenties now, maybe. No. It's, uh, 12. Oh, dear. I think it's GG. Do you wanna... Do you wanna do GG question mark? Okay, there, there we go. go. There I we didn't go. wanna say it. That would be impolite. So, that was a pretty good game. Uh, uh, this was all pretty new to you, wasn't it? Yeah, so, if you haven't... <laughs> noticed, I don't play Arabia pretty much at all. Um, so yeah, this strategy uh, is fairly new to me. Uh, what do you think was most effective about our strategy? Is that for the dominant part of the game, we were sort of setting the tone. He was forcing to sort of react and all the while well, what, what, what was the, the biggest economy. part of our strategy? What was our main goal? Was to starve him of resources, particularly gold. Yeah, and that worked pretty well, huh? Yeah, it did. I mean, I let I, I left the location a few times, but he didn't really get a chance to come back to it. Mm -hmm. And he was spending all his resources on towers and things like that, which really slowed him down. Uh, did you like the Drush into Archer build? Um, I thought it, the answer to that is yes. I thought I was going to really like struggle with that, even with the... Sort of, I didn't carry it off very well, but even with the small amount of militia that then got upgraded to men-at-arms, I feel like that really tipped him off balance early. Yeah, he wasn't expecting it. Um, do you know why? Um, so ba so basically, this is a build you can use for any sieve. Um, you want to use it especially with archer sieves, because uh, as, as you can see, we went into archers afterwards, right? Yeah, I think, yeah, absolutely. Because uh, the wooden gold thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, can, what, let me give you three you... reasons. Uh, a lot of players, um, okay. such as uh, I think he tried to do, uh, like to do straight archers. Uh, let me tell you why I don't really like that strategy so much, and why a drush archers is better. Okay. Uh, first thing is that um, drushing, it delays you to go to the feudal age, which is okay, because if you try to do a straight archer rush, you're not going to have enough wood for your archer ranges. So just by going for a drush, you're going to have more villagers, you're going to have more wood by the time you actually get up, right? Yeah. So it's a clean build. Uh, as soon as you get up to the feudal age, you can plop down two archer ranges, start making archers. Uh, second reason is you have these militia to harass, harass with. And uh, we did some good harassment. Uh, well, we could have done some better harassment, but uh, eventually we got men-at-arms and then hit his gold. But ideally we could hit his gold, uh, you know, just with militia. Yeah, yeah. So it's good for that reason. Third reason we like to do drush into archers is because, um, imagine he did the same thing to us, right? He drushed into archers, and he'd sat his militia right at our gold. Uh, we wouldn't be able to defend ourselves because, you know, our whole plan was to go for archers, and now we don't have gold, right? Yeah. So that those are the three reasons why I like the drush into archers. Um, as long as you know that build, what we just did this game... Um, if you like, you can review the Twitch, or you can review the recorded game, see exactly where you put your villagers, that kind of stuff. Um, mm -hmm. As long as you know that build, uh, you're pretty well set. The other build on Arabia is going to be the Scout Rush. And um, basically, if you're trying to decide between a Scout Rush and this Drush into Archers, all you have to ask yourself is, does your Civ get Bloodlines? If your Civ gets Bloodlines, then you can do a Scout Rush. Uh, the second question you have to ask yourself is, where's my gold? Is my, is my, if my gold is protected, then you should go for a Drush into Archers. If your gold is exposed, you should go for a Scout Rush. And would you say this gold, because I felt like it was a little... Uh, oh, I guess it's a side gold, isn't it, rather than a front? 
This gold is exposed, but you can wall it. If you wall it, then a Drush into Archers, I think, is the better build. Yeah, right. And we did not get yeah. ahead of him anyway. Yeah. Then I you can see where you can wall it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wall to the cliff there. Yeah, and you want to do that pretty early on, so that maybe scouts don't harass it. Uh, otherwise, you could do a scout build. And the reason you do for a scout build is, of, of course, you don't have to worry about your gold. Alright, so I think that worked pretty well. We made quite a bit of army, and that really um, that really helped us uh, in our favor. Yeah, I'm sorry, the last 10 minutes was probably really painful for all of you guys to watch. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's hard to attack and defend at the same time. But it's, it's essential you do, because we took massive damage, but we have to dish out massive damage uh, to keep the game, you know, even. Yeah, any idea of how many fills I lost in that big mass? Uh, I don't know, at least 10. Okay. But uh, he lost, you know, equal amount, at least. And that's what, like, a lot of players do. They, they just panic when they get attacked. You have to remember, you have to attack and defend. Yeah, that was really good. Thank you. Oh, do you want to play another? Yeah, sure.